So let's look at the relationship between monosaccharides and disaccharides as our first example. So here I have two glucose molecules, and if I were to join them together, it would involve the removal of water. Joining them together would form a molecule of maltose, and this is a disaccharide. The two glucose molecules uh, in formation of the maltose molecule gives us a glycosidic bond, which I've labeled right here. Now, the removal of the water is referred to as a condensation reaction, and if you wanted to reverse that, you simply add water to split up the maltose back into the two glucose molecules, and that is referred to as hydrolysis. The same would be true if you were to form a polysaccharide from a disaccharide and a monosaccharide. The formation would involve a condensation reaction, but the splitting of the polysaccharide would involve hydrolysis.